Hello guys and welcome back to the Savix YouTube channel. My name is Michael Opoma. I'm the founder of Savix and on this channel we're all about helping you build a successful career and every Thursday we also share a story from Africa you know because it's all part of the education that we all need and I hope you agree. So today we're going to talk about interview day behavior. Are there specific ways you should behave on interview days or would that be a very good day to be yourself? So let me know what you think about in the comment section because that's something uh, we've heard people talk about from time to time. You know, when they say be yourself, express who you are, you know, own your brand, da 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 da. Interview days, would that be a good day to be yourself, express yourself, own your brand and how can can you make that work how can you get that to help you succeed and get the job to which you apply so let me know what you think about in the comment section and do well to give us a like and if you've not subscribed to the channel click on the subscribe button click on the bell so you're notified every time we we'll make new content that helps us grow that's good for the channel and also good for you because then you get to know firsthand every time we have something new coming your way and if you're regular on the channel welcome back so good to have you you all are my backbone my stronghold and thank you for always being here for me so today let's talk about interview day behavior so you've got invited to an interview and you're wondering are there things you need to do uh, the things you remember too late you know when you've arrived and you realize you don't have a tie on or you know all that or maybe don't have the right attire or that you didn't quite read the circular right so here are a few things you should do before you get yourself into that interview room so number one read your invitation yeah i said that read your invitation and i know sometimes all we care about in interview invitations are the dates the time and the location but that's not quite all the information a typical invitation comes with because sometimes they provide information about uh, what documentation they want you to come with they want uh, maybe they want you to confirm whether you'd be available at a certain time and it's only important that you do that so ensure that you read through all the documentation read through your own applications and read through the job adverts that got you to that point in the first place and that way you're very clear on what the organization needs and what it is you promise you are going to offer them because trust me it's going to come up in that interview so first point do your research do your reading and you know you'd be good to go number two you know read up all the usuals you know tell us about yourself what is your motivation where do you see yourself in the next 10 years why do you think you're the best person for this job what are your greatest strengths tell us about a time you made a mistake and fixed it these are you know common interview questions that you're likely to respond to at every given interview and if you'd like me to make you know specific videos where i get to respond to all of these questions then uh, do let me know in the comment section and i'll make those videos just for you so i'll be giving shout outs to specific individuals requesting for videos uh relevant to uh, how to succeed at job interviews so uh, let's have all that down in the comment section if you'd want me to respond to uh, all of those basic interview questions so it helps to you know revise your responses because trust me once you get into that interview room and the door closes a lot of things are not going to be quite the same your confidence level might drop you know uh, you might develop a sudden case of dry truth uh, <laughs> you know a lot of things can happen in interviews and i've been in a lot myself so i have a pretty good understanding of what i'm talking about so prepare your responses you don't have to use them but it's better to have a gun and not need one than need a gun and not have one there's a huge difference between the two and you don't want to be caught in a mix so number three groom like it's your wedding day yeah whether you're male or female ensure that you are looking your very best so first ensure that you you get that hairdo make sure your hair is looking good you know trim your beard don't have it looking like mine ensure that you're physically appealing put on some makeup if you have to you know brush your teeth Put on lip gloss, polish your shoes, your belts, dry clean your clothes and wear some perfume. Yes, 
wear some perfume so if you must smell anything at all ensure that it's good right so no strong perfumes don't put on too much something light and then you're good to go and know this it's okay to borrow for the sake of interview it's okay to borrow you only have one chance to make that good impression and once you miss out on the opportunity chances are i mean it's gone number four be punctual you know i can't stress this enough but know that it is super super important that you arrive on time possibly before the interviewers so if you have an interview scheduled at 8 a.m then you should try to arrive at least one hour before time and that way you don't miss out on some of the early opportunities that might arise at the interview site and i'm gonna talk about all that shortly next bring something to read so you are interview location and you're very much on time you know just don't see it cross your leg and do nothing you know bring something to look at and here is a trick even if you don't feel like reading you know just have something open in front of you it gives the impression that you're studios that you love to learn and all that well you probably have everybody with a book in front of them that's cool so whatever you bring and show that it is relevant you don't want to have a cosmo a playboy magazine open in front of you at an interview that will totally not give the right signals except you're applying to those organizations so if you're applying to a business management position and you're reading uh harvard business reviews i mean like that's fantastic you know right and then if you are reading some journals that are relevant to the position you're applying to well that helps you get some extra information boosts your confidence and also gives the impression that you know you're kind of the real deal and you want that so number five assist the organizers so you had interview location and maybe the organizers are still running around trying to uh, get things together set up the place then you should offer to help them and i have a story for you and this actually happened in lagos nigeria so this young man was attending a job interview in a firm and you know midway through the wait one of the interviewers pops out of the boardroom and asks if anyone could get a specific newspaper coming from two weeks before now no one in that room had that paper on them because i mean it's two weeks old no one would have two weeks old newspaper in their bags but this dude remembers that he saw a barber shop on his way to the interview and as a matter of fact not very far away and one thing we know about barber shops is they get daily newspapers and a lot of times they just have them stacked under the tables so this dude ran off uh, got to the barber shop borrowed the newspaper and went into the boardroom to present it to this man he would eventually get offered that job without even having to interview for it so chances are you may not be as lucky and a lot of times you know helping out running around for interview organizers may not get you that position but you might just make a friend and it might increase your chances at getting the position number six if the commute is long please take along a change of clothes and i'm saying this specifically for people who are nigerians and who are from other african countries if you're interviewing in lagos nigeria it is possible that you might be on the road for two hours or three hours or four hours before you get to the interview location except you're driving yourself in an air-conditioned vehicle or you're taking an uber speaking you from your home and taking you straight to the interview location you might want to consider taking a change of clothes or at least not putting in your interview clothes until you've arrived at a place and that goes on to buttress the punctuality point because if you arrive early enough then you have some time to put on your clothes you know uh, put on a little makeup and get ready for the interview but chances are if you're interviewing in nigeria or in some other parts of africa and you're doing the long commute you might get your clothes rumpled or dirty or not looking as good as they should by the time the interview starts and need i say you should dry clean your clothes yeah, I, I think you figured that out already. So ensure you have your clothes looking their best also. Number eight, carry copies of your credentials, but don't forget to take along the originals. Now, there are organizations that require that you present the original copies of your credentials. 
and that way they can cite them and go on to take in the photocopies into their records but there are a lot of other organizations that don't really care so much about those and just want to uh, you know maybe talk to you maybe they want to pull you through some tests have you complete some tasks that demonstrates the skills you claim that you have but whether you've been asked to come with this document or not, know that the typical Nigerian or African workplace is going to ask to see your credentials. So do well to carry them along. But if you didn't have to use them, then that's still fine. But you'd feel a lot worse if they had need for them and you didn't bring them along than if you brought them along and you didn't have need for them. And if you want to learn more about what you should put in your bag on your interview day, then uh, here's a video you should go check out. There it did spell all the stuff out. All right, so moving on. Number nine, keep your energy levels up. Interview days are very important days because they have the ability to change your life for the better. The reason you're interviewing for a job is because you kind of need a change in your income state. So maybe you want to go work somewhere else. You're bored, you're tired of where you're already working or you just don't have a job. You know? So whatever the case may be, you are probably not as happy as you wish you were. And then when you walk into an interview site and you find tens or hundreds of other persons waiting to clinch the same position as yourself, it has a depressing effect. So there are going to be lots and lots of factors that would depress you on the day of an interview, but I would encourage you to keep your energy levels up. You know, uh, do the chit chats if you have to. You know, make new friends, talk to other persons. Don't just all sit and look like corpses and all that. You know, uh, seem happy, seem vibrant, seem entertaining. You know, just show off a good personality if you have one. And finally, number ten, do not forget to smile. You know, smile at everyone, smile at the people you meet at the interview location, smile at your fellow interviewees, smile at the interviewers, you know, smile at yourself, just be happy. The mere fact that you made it to that place is so much about who you are and so much about how much you can achieve. So you've come a long way, you've made it to this point. The least you can do is enjoy it. So smile and hope for the best and know this. If you've made it to an interview, then chances are you have something that organizations look forward to, something they hope that they are going to need and they're going to find exciting about you. So it's your job to make the best possible impression and the cheapest and the best possible way you can do that is by wearing a smile, having a good attitude and ensuring that overall you look good and acceptable and that you are ready to answer all those fun interview Question. And to answer the question as to whether you should be yourself or whether you should just you know act up for the interview, I think from all the 10 tips I've provided, it's pretty clear you have to do some level of acting because this is the day you want to make a lot of great, great impression. So if you're a performer and that resonates with who you are on a very deep level and you're auditioning for a role, then go on and be yourself, you know, show off all the stuff performers do but if you are a very dramatic person and you are interviewing for you know a pretty serious job role where you won't need your drama at all then it might not be in your best interest to go up and show off all the drama king or drama queen personality that you have because that would be you shooting yourself in the foot so here is my very simple take if being yourself is going to help you get the job then go on and be yourself 100%. But if being yourself is not going to help you get a job, then you probably should not be yourself on interview day. I know there's a deep difference between being objective, which in this case would be doing whatever it takes to get a job and finding satisfaction in that job position. So it's all up to you to put all these on the scale and ask yourself these important questions. Do I want to be myself at the expense of getting a job? Or do I need a job so bad I can avoid being myself for a few hours every day then I can get back to being whoever I've always been. So if you've made it to this point in this video, give us a thumbs up, give us a comment. Uh, it's been a real great pleasure having you on the channel. Thank you for always supporting us. If you've not subscribed, subscribe now. Click on the bell so you're notified every time we make new content. Do not forget to comment, to like, to share this video and please let us know if there are other topics you'd like us to make in the future. We're here for you and it's a job to make sure that you 
you get into the job place and that you have fun being in there and that you succeed so thank you all for watching see you in the next video have a great day stay safe guys